Hey gang, thanks for joining me. I am super excited because you just received your Psy earplugs in the mail. And what we're gonna do now is show you how to get the cord tied on. So let's just dive straight in. Huh? Yeah, here we are. So you've been standing by your mailbox all week waiting for these to show up. You open the package. This is what you're gonna find inside the set of uh, small, medium, and large ear tips from Comply. We're gonna set those aside for now because we are talking about cord. Uh, here's a plastic case with our fancy little sticker and all that jazz. Open it up. You've got your earplugs and cord inside. Perfect. All right, so if this looks like a mess to you, you did not watch the video on the high-speed pneumatic bagging machine that I made to put the cord into these bags. Um, so if you feel like this looks like a mess, I suggest you go watch the video because when you see this, you'll be like, sweet, if you watch the video. If you did not, you'll be like, eh, so watch the video. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get our cord out. You should find one, uh, if not both ends, are actually lightly sealed together, and that's because we cut these cords all at the same time. Um, this should be generally easy to straighten out. You've got all three colors. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm just going to pick a random one. So you just pull these apart. No big deal, right? Uh, let's use green, because maybe that'll show up on camera. Green, yellow, I don't even know. All right, the first thing to note is, yes, you do have to tie this cord onto your earplugs. And the reason I chose to do this is because it works. Uh, I am not really one to use a solution because it looks cool and works bad. If it doesn't work, it doesn't pass the test. Um, if you can tie your shoes, you're going to have no trouble with this. We're going to tie the most simple knot in the knot tying world, a straight overhand. So... I guess I get that cord out of the way. All right, over, under, and through. That is literally all you're going to do, except this other piece has to go through the middle. So here's my recommendation. Just form a, a large loop. Um, it does not need to be small at this point. Tie your overhand knot around this piece of cord, and that is literally it. The only thing you have to pay attention to uh, is this tail should be facing uh, away from the loop. Now, if you're gonna take your earplugs on and off a lot, this is too much tail, but you may wanna leave a little bit of tail so you can wiggle it off. Um, all right, so I'm gonna tie this one with the tail and the next one we're gonna tie without a tail. So you're gonna wanna adjust the position of the knot a little bit. And so I'm just like feeding this back and pull it down. And this is really the main fidgety part. You just have to get it to where you want it. So that's a good little bit of tail. Um, this is the loose end. You're going to want to make this end tight. Pull hard. Uh, and then try to move the knot on the cord. And it should be snug, but it should also move. So literally, that is it. We can now take this end and put it on our earplugs and just cinch it down. Uh, kind of work it back and forth and get the knot down inside the edges. Um, and you're pretty much going to be good to go. You may, in terms of comfort, have to play around with this tail, whether you want it longer or shorter. Um, again, one of the reasons why we're tying this on is you can customize it. So you can leave a tail, you can not leave a tail, you can change the length. Uh, everyone is a different size. So really, we're just trying to accommodate that customization to make these work as well as possible for you. All right, so let's call that one done. So I'm going to do the other side. Again, just an overhand knot. And uh, I'm going to try to get as little tail as possible, which is actually what I do on my personal earplugs. Uh, I don't ever take them off the cord, but if you want to do that, you can. So again, I'm just kind of working the knot down to get this as small as possible. Now, you are... Thanks, air compressor. You are going to need a little bit of tail to be able to tighten this knot. All right, so now I've got it snug. Um, if I want to make this permanent, all I'm going to do, you can use a knife or scissors or whatever, is I'm just going to cut this little bit off. I want to leave a little bit sticking out. You don't want to cut it totally flush. So there's that little fluffy bit sticking out, and all you're going to do is take a flame of some sort. Um, 
when you've got this flame going, you actually want to put the flame in the lower blue part, not in the orange hot part, because we don't want to burn this to a cinder. We just want to lightly seal this material. So I'm just going to place that up to the blue part, not in it even, and you can just watch that kind of pull back. And if you want, you can just touch the metal to it. And this will not come apart at this point. So again, we've got our little loop here with a knot on it. Uh, and we're just going to attach that to the other side, snug it down. Again, wiggle it back and forth until the knot is down inside the perimeter. And that way it's not going to cause you issues uh, and it's going to be comfortable because this is totally flexible and there's no stiff parts sticking out. So that's literally all there is to it. Um, even if you're planning on cutting this short, you may want to leave a tail because uh, you're going to put this on and adjust, like if you need to adjust the length, it's going to be easier if you can just wiggle this off and remove it. Um, and then, you know, you could untie the knot and readjust it. Whatever you want to do. So that's that. All right, so I also wanted to note, this is actually supposed to be a carrying case. If you take it and want to travel with it, throw it in a bag or something, just put your earplugs in there. Um, obviously, you can shake it and see if it's in there. Uh, this is a little bit translucent, so you can also see, you know, if you have two different sets of earplugs with either a different colored cord or titanium and delrin, you can tell what's inside without opening it. Um, anyway, there you go. It's also bright orange, so you can find it in your bag, because... Who likes searching for stuff and not being able to find it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your earplugs. Be sure to check out our other videos uh, on some of the machines I'm building to make this process possible uh, and also the video about how to install the foam ear tips.